said in our last video, we're back in this session with a fun activity for our students. This activity will be implemented with the help of the zero investment idea of seating arrangement. So let's begin by informing the students that we are going to form different shapes by sitting in different patterns. As the students are sitting in a big circle, we shall ask them to stand in their positions. Now, we will initiate the other process of the seating arrangement by giving the students the following instructions. We will begin by picking one student randomly and ask them to say the number one. Following which, the student next to him or her will continue by saying two. Followed by the third student saying the number three and the fourth saying the number four. The student standing after the fourth student will then restart the sequence with the number one. Continue this process until all the students have called out a number that ranges from 1 to 4. Now ask the students to remember the number that they have spoken aloud. Moving on, ask all the students who called out the number 1 to raise their hands and stand together. In a similar way, we shall help divide the other students into groups based on the number they said aloud. That is, all the students who said the number 2 will be grouped together and so will the students who said the number 3 as well as the number 4. Once the students have been divided into groups, we shall inform them that each group will make a different shape based on the instructions. Instruct them that they need to sit in their respective places. Inform them that they will need to hold each other's hands while making the shape. Doing so will help them build their interpersonal skills. So now, Let's begin with the fun part. Instruct group 1 to make a square by holding each other's hands. Similarly, instruct group 2 to make a triangle. Group 3 will make a rectangle. And group 4 will make a circle. We shall offer assistance to the students to make the different shapes while holding each other's hands. But remember, they should remain seated in their respective patterns. Wasn't that fun? Stay tuned for our next video where we shall further help our students understand the concept of the different basic shapes.